Hello, this is Left Turn Productions, and welcome to the 2020 LTPSS All-Star Race. So yesterday you saw the All-Star Open for the drivers trying to get into the All-Star Race, but here we are under the lights at the main event. So there are 16 cars in this race, 16 of the greatest to have ever driven on this channel. Uh, and so yeah, let's get into your stories. So here are the three drivers that transferred in via the Open. Zachary Delello won segment one. Trivia May won segment two and a photo finish with Hope Wilmington. And James Edwards got in via the fan vote. So yeah, these three are going to join the other 13 competitors here today. So here you got Caleb Campbell. He won the season two All-Star Race for the York Cup Series. Uh, the first ever rendition of the All-Star Race. And he won it at this very racetrack. Can he do it again? Let's find out. And then you have Salty Salt, who is returning for the first time since his York Cup Series Season 4 Championship. This is a one-off race with Junior Motorsports. And uh, yeah, we'll see how he does. Uh, he might be a little rusty maybe getting into this race, but he's had some practice here. And uh, he seemed decent overall. So yeah, uh, we'll see how Salty Salts can do. And then you have Brian Ferris, who won the last time that I did an all-star race. He won it at Houston in York Cup Series Season 3 in a photo finish over uh, the 11 car. I don't remember who the sponsored account was that year, but uh, Denny Hamlin was the driver. And finally, you have Brady Wilmington for Pacific Racing on the pole. So the last time Pacific Racing was at this track was in the uh, CCPS Season 6 Round 13 at Orlando, and they almost won the race with James Edwards behind the wheel. And Brady Wilmington, of course, starting on the pole for his own team here today. So here's your starting grid. Row 1 is Brady Wilmington and Jay Coover. Row 2 is James Johnson and Jeff Toledo. Row 3 is Grant Hoover and Jacob Persner. Row 4 is Shane Wensloff and Brian Ferris. Row 5 is Scarlett Rose and Salty Salts. Row 6 is LJ Toledo and Caleb Campbell. Row 7 is Brendan Creason and Zachary Delello. And rounding out the field is Trivia May and James Edwards. So here's how the format's going to go for the All-Star Race. We will have three segments. The first two will be five laps, and the third will be three laps. There's really nothing gained from winning any of the segments. It's just pretty much for bragging rights. Much like the rest of this race, honestly. So yeah, here we go. Pace Truck is going to roll off. Brady Wilmington and Jay Coover are going to lead them to the green flag. We're going to start segment number one. Going through turns one and two. Now out of turn two, Brady Wilmington jumps out to the lead. And Grant Hoover's falling back. I, I think that might be intentional. He might be looking for Caleb Campbell. As those two will probably try to work together. Now the top three single file with Wilmington in the front. Jay Coover and James Johnson are going to go behind him. Jeff Toledo and Brian Ferris trying to get something to work on the high side here. Oh, they all maybe ditch Brady Wilmington. Yeah, they do. And Jay Coover is going to go to the lead with help from a fellow Ford, James Johnson. Jay Coover in the lead, number 17. And now they're going three wide. They do not want to work with Brady Wilmington. Jacob Herzner goes down there. And now once again, the front three are single file. But this time it's Jeff Toledo up there. Look at the three wide here. Salty Salts gets shuffled out. Coming to lap three, Jay Coover in the lead. James Johnson in second. Jeff Toledo going to try to get something started up in the one car with help from Brian Ferris. And Brian Ferris is going to go to the outside with help from Brady Wilmington. And they're three wide for a second, four wide for a second now as Shane Wensloff makes a big move. He might go to second here, and he will, at least for the moment, as Jay Coover still hanging on to the lead as they're four wide behind him. Jay Coover has to hold off the entire field. Two laps to go. Jeff Toledo with a run through the middle. Jay Coover still in the lead. Shane Wensloff's faltering. Brian Ferris up on the high side now with help from Caleb Campbell. We knew he'd get up there sooner or later. But he's still kind of stuck in the middle. And now they're going five wide going into turn number three. Look at the 17 and 12. They're pretty much tandem drafting and they've got themselves out to a pretty good lead. Will the pack be able to catch them? The 12 car is shoving the 17 coming to the white flag. 
They have a pretty good gap over the rest of the field as they are still going two and three wide behind him. Scarlet Rose and Trivia May getting up here towards the front. Who's going to win this segment? Will Jake Hoover be able to hold it off or will Brian Ferris make a move for the segment win? He goes to the outside. On the outside around Jake Hoover, he's going to get pushed by Scarlet Rose and coming down to the tri-oval, Brian Ferris wins segment number one and everybody made it back in one piece. So here is your segment one results here. Brian Ferris wins. Scarlet Rose second. Jake Hoover, Trivia May, Grant Hoover round out the top five. And you can see the rest of the field there. Uh, notables here. Pole sitter Brady Wilmington fell all the way back to 11th in that. It didn't seem like anybody really wanted to work with him. And uh, Trivia May, James Edwards, and Zachary Delello, all three drivers who transferred in through the open, are all inside the top nine here. So... Let's watch a replay of segment one before we get on to segment two, or at least the finish of segment one. So here they are. I believe this is two laps to go here. Jay Cooper in the lead. Brian Ferris on the outside. They're in. They're coming off a of turn two and down the backstretch. Brian Ferris gives Jay Cooper a huge shove out to the front as they go five wide behind them. And that gave them a huge gap on the rest of the field. And that pretty much set them in position to get up here to the to the segment win. And of course, Brian Ferris at this point is just thinking of a way to get around Jay Coover so that he could win the segment. Here comes the run on the outside with the three and the two and the 41. Jay Coover goes down. Brian Ferris does not. And Ferris goes up on the outside. Help from Scarlet Rose. And they come by three wide to the line throughout the field. And the most amazing part about that is that unlike in the open, there was no wreck. So all 16 drivers are going to continue to be racing going into segment number two. All right, Brian Ferris going to lead them down here for segment number two. And green flag is back in the air. The three car is getting a pretty good shove from Trivia May. And everybody's ditching the 12 car, Brian Ferris here. Scarlet Rose is going to go to the lead for Richard Childress Racing. As they're going three wide now, Grant Hoover down to the bottom. It looks like he's doing the same thing that he did in segment one, except this time he does pick up Caleb Campbell. He wasn't able to do that in segment one. And now look at this. Scarlet Rose has to fend off two Penske cars behind. Ferris goes up to the outside, dishing Trivia May. He has help from James Johnson coming to lap two of the segment. James Edwards inside the top five in that 5395 Racing Chevrolet, the number five car. He's got help from Brady Wilmington. Scarlet Rose still out in front in the number three car. As you can see, they're going four wide now. Jake Hoover is getting shuffled back. And Grant Hoover is getting to the bottom. Brian Ferris trying to mount a charge, but he hasn't been able to get the momentum. As the two cars shoving the three car out to the front. But look at that. The Kayla Campbell Motorsports cars are coming up behind them as they're up to lap three. Brian Ferris still trying to get something to work on the high side. How about James Johnson getting that third lane going with Jake Hoover? Oh, the two cars spinning into the air. Back down on all fours. And the first caution of the race is out. Trivia May. Spins out of second place, and it looked like he or it looked like she had help. Let's go look at the replay. Here they are going through turns one and two. Trivia May, second car in line, and the twenty-five gets a run up on her, and turns her around. It looks like the two car gets up in the air a little bit, and then a little bit more after hitting the inside wall. Just like what we've seen recently, we've seen a lot of cars getting up in the air in the open, but none of them ever went over. And we also saw LJ Toledo flipping and practice, and that's kind of concerning. It seems like almost every wreck a car is getting in the air. Here's one more look at it. Trivia May pushing her friend Scarlet Rose, staying in front of her there, or staying behind her rather, and yeah. 25 gave her a bumper hook there, and the two car... 
goes sliding into the inside ball. Nothing Trivia May could do about that. So Trivia May is going to be the first retiree of the race in the number two Penske car. She got in through the open and was having a good run up until this point. So we're going to get them restarted here with just two laps to go in the segment. All right, Scarlet Rose has chosen the outside lane here on the restart. She wants to break up the Kale Campo Motorsports cars. And she's on the gas here. Green flag back out in the air. Two laps to go in the segment. And uh, it doesn't look like it's working out very well for Scarlet Rose as Grant Hoover has a push from Brian Ferris. He's been a good pusher. You saw him. You saw what he was able to do with Grant's older brother, Jake, as now they're three wide once again. Grant Hoover going to try and stay out front. James Johnson on the inside there for second place. Coming to the white flag. Now Jake Hoover is going to help his brother out. Scarlet Rose has a run on the high side. White flag in the air. Can Rose win the segment? She's been in front almost the entire segment, actually. As they're three by three by three. Coming out of turn number two, Grant Hoover with the advantage with Jake Hoover behind. Here comes James Edwards to the inside with help from Brady Wilmington. Wilmington's been helping him all day. Coming down to the bottom, Grant Hoover blocks them all, and it looks like Grant Hoover is going to win segment one, but Jake's getting there. Yes, Grant Hoover will still win the segment, despite the efforts of Jake Hoover and James Edwards. So here are your segment two results. Grant Hoover, Jake Hoover, the two Hoovers finish 1-2 in that segment. James Edwards, Brian Ferris finishing third and fourth, and Brady Wilmington rounds out the top five, as you can see everybody else there. A lot of these are not really representative of how they've been doing. For example, Caleb Campbell finished pretty low in both segments, but he has been having a pretty solid race. He just keeps getting shuffled out towards the end of the segments. You saw Caleb Campbell push Grant Hoover out to the lead. You can see all these drivers here. Trivia May, the only one out of the race. So Brendan Creese and the last of those still running to finish the race here. So now we're going to have a little bit of a look at the end of segment two before we go on to the final segment of the race. So here they are just past the white flag. Scarlet Rose has help from Caleb Campbell here. Caleb Campbell ends up falling all the way back to 13th. Despite being fourth on the final lap. I'm one, I wonder how that ended up happening. But yeah, the outside lane starts to lose momentum there, and the 25 and the 41 are having a drag race down the backstretch, and the 25 just had the better push. Up on the outside there, there are four wide. It looked like the 41 almost got hooked by the 12 there. There was no wreck. James Edwards make a, made a brilliant move to the bottom with help from Brady Wilmington, but it wasn't enough to pass up Grant Hoover there. As you can see, the field go by there. They are four wide back there. So yeah, that's going to end segment number two. But this is the one that matters right here. The final three lap shootout to the finish. Who is going to win the all-star race? All right, two Hoovers on the front row. Grant chooses the outside lane just like Scarlet Rose did earlier. Maybe trying to break up the 17 and the 12 because he knows that they've been working well together. And the green flag is back out in the air. This may be the final restart as the 12 shoves out the 25. It's working out a lot better for Grant Hoover than it did for Scarlett. Look out, here comes James Edwards back on the inside once again with help from the 62. And now they're three wide for the lead. James Edwards gets the run on the inside and he's going to take the lead. The fan vote winner is leading here in the all-star race. Two laps to go. Grant Hoover challenging on the outside with help from Brian Ferris. But wouldn't it be a story if James Edwards won this race? The track that he almost won at in the CCPS not too long ago. The one that got away. Can he get it out here today? He still got help from behind. Caleb Campbell ducking down to the inside. He wants to win this race. As he's got both himself and Grant Hoover, his teammate. James Edwards still out in front, but Grant Hoover is on the outside. The white flag is in the air. As you can see the sky cam shot, this is the entire field as they are four wide in some parts with the Toledo brothers up on the top. 
James Edwards looking to upset the field here today and get 5395 Racing their first win. Brady Wilmington glued to his back bumper. Now James goes high to block Brian Ferris as he had a run. Going into turn number three. It's going to get close here at the finish. Oh, we got a crash behind them. James Edwards has the 62 underneath. He goes spinning three wide at the line. And Brian Ferris barely gets the win in the number 12 as we got a car upside down. Coming out of turn four, the 17 car, Jake Hoover, almost flips back over but lands back on his roof. A wild end to this all-star race. So here is a replay of the final lap, and that was a crazy final lap as Brian Ferris wins his second straight all-star race. He won it in York Cup Series Season 3, being the sponsored account for Ryan Blaney. And now... He's going to win this one as well in the LTPSS. So coming to the white flag here, James Edwards had help from Brady Wilmington. It was very clear that Wilmington was not going to get off the back bumper of that five car. But they were three wide for third there with Caleb Campbell and Brendan Creason tried to take it four. He did take it four wide on the bottom with help from the 38 car. Right here, James Edwards goes up high to block the set, the 12 car. The 12 and 17 were trying to work together. Remember what they did in segment one where they pulled out in front of the field. And the 17 ends up involved in that wreck. It looks like he and the 19 made contact. That's Jacob Herzner. And you can see right here, James Edwards is in front. But he's not clear of the 62 car. You can see they're still wrecking back there. 17 hard into the outside wall, as you can see, barely up in that corner there. Brendan Creason trying to make it three wide all by himself. And it looks like the five tried to get in front of Brady Wilmington, maybe, and just got spun. Or maybe he could have gotten turned by the 12 car. We're going to have to look at that again. But look at the finish. It looks like I don't have a frame of the exact finish, but you can see Ryan Ferris was ahead both before and after the line. And I can confirm that Ryan Ferris was ahead at the finish as they went three wide and here right here you can see the big wreck here both toledo brothers involved jacob hersner james johnson scarlet rose and of course jake hoover sliding on his roof this looked a lot like that aforementioned ccps race you can see right there jake hoover almost flipped back over on his wheels but instead stays on the roof much like lj toledo did in practice but this looked a lot like the finish of the uh, Orlando CCPS race this season. Let's look at that one more time. We're going to have to pay close attention to what happened to James Edwards because it looked like he was about to get a storybook win here in the All-Star race. So James is being pushed by the 12 of Brian Ferris. You can see them wrecking behind. He got a bump from the 12 and I think think the 12 i think it, i don't think anybody was at fault there the 12 just kind of gave him a rough bump and that got the five loose and that caused him to turn across the nose of the 62 i think that's what happened there you could see the photo finish another photo finish at orlando between the 12 and 62 cars like i said that happened in the ccps orlando race except this time it's different drivers but it looked very similar and again there is jake hoover upside down but everybody in that wreck was okay and uh scarlet rose i think actually got around to finish the race i think shane wensloff was also involved in that crash along with salty salts but they both drove it back to finish the race so let's look at your race results so here are the final results of the 2020 all-star race brian ferris gets his second in a row, in a photo finish here over Brady Wilmington, and he won his first All-Star race also in a photo finish. So, uh, yeah, that's another one. Brendan Creason tried to make a three-wide pass, couldn't quite get there, but he still got third place. Grant Hoover, fourth, James Edwards. What a heartbreak for him. Again, it would have been a storybook ending here if Edwards would have won that race, but uh, it almost was, but he got turned right at the very end. He still gets a top five out of it, which is pretty good for him.
uh, considering that that five team isn't quite the best. Uh, Zachary Delello finishing sixth. Uh, Caleb Campbell seventh. Salty Salts eighth. Shane Wensloff ninth. And rounding out the top ten and rounding out the cars that finished, Scarlet Rose. James Johnson, Jake Hoover, LJ Toledo, Jacob Persner, Jeff Toledo all could not make it back to the line after getting involved in that last lap crash. And then, of course, Trivia May crashed out of the race in segment number two. So congratulations to Brian Ferris on the win. Uh, the next race is going to be the LTPSS race at uh, Sunoco Speedway, uh, which will be later this month. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Left Turn Productions, signing out.